The Major League Baseball amateur draft had several Florida high school players get their names called in the early rounds with five of the top 50, including three first-rounders. Now, shortstop Nick Gordon from Olympia High School in Orlando, the son of former Major League pitcher Tom Flash Gordon, was selected by the Twins with the fifth pick. Pitcher Tuki Toussaint from Coral Springs Christian Academy was chosen by the D-backs at number 16. And Foster Griffin from First Academy in Orlando was selected by Kansas City with the 28th pick. Now, Griffin and Gordon, along with more than a dozen top 100 picks, showcased their talents at the Florida Athletic Coaches Association All-Star Game in Sebring over the Memorial Day weekend. Prep Zone's Dave Cook was there and tells us there is quite a legacy of baseball tradition in this jewel of Highlands County. When most people think of Sebring, you think of auto racing and the 12-hour race that has taken place every March here for the past 60-plus years. But there's another sports tradition in this amazing community that dates back to the early 1900s, and there are reminders of this unlikely partnership all over town. George White is a local historian. Now, we started as volunteer firemen in 1917. Uh, from that point, we worked the racetrack out here. We bought this property down here where we stand. We have about 23 acres here. We run the Highlands County Fair. We have the football field and the baseball field that Folks have been watching baseball here at Fireman's Field since the 1920s. In 1938, the Yankees minor league team had spring training here. Later that spring, the big club came up from St. Petersburg to have an exhibition game. And that's when the first home run was hit at this stadium. We've had some, some great players here. Lou Gehrig played on the same field. Uh, of course, FACA has been here for like 23 years. So we've had some of the great, great major league players of this time that have all played on this field. So it's a big deal for us to have the FACA here. And George should know. His son Gabe is still a big deal here in Sebring. He pitched nine years in the big leagues, including with the Yankees in 2003, when they lost to the Marlins in the World Series. Gabe is now an accomplished mud racer. And every Memorial Day, baseball scouts from around the country come to Sebring for this three-day baseball tournament, looking for the next big league talent emerging from Florida. Tom Kochman has been a big league scout for 40 years. His son Casey played 10 years in the big leagues, and he knows the importance of this event. It really gives us a last look at them. You know, it's best against the best, north, south, east, west. And it's just a good time to see them against, the, you know, the competition against each other and see them, you know, last look before the draft, make sure they're healthy. Th this tournament's been here for a long time, and it's just a, it's a great setting. Uh, I just think with the uh, hospitality the people bring here and the, the uh, old-fashioned work ethic, it's just it's a neat thing to, to see in this day and age, and it's something that's, you know, it's not seen a lot, and it's good to be here to, you know, regain that focus. Putting on an event like this is no easy task. Shelton Cruz is the executive director of the Coaches Association. Each year, each, each year I have a, a greater appreciation for it, you know, with uh, all the efforts that's put in by the Sebring community, the coaches, and uh, you know the Major League scouts, uh, and the fans and, and players. You know, so it's. Uh, I, I tell people all the time, there is no event like this anywhere in the country. And if there is, I'd like to see it. In basketball, all the teams are trying to get to Lakeland. Well, in baseball, everybody wants to get to Sebring. It's just something that everybody enjoys and everybody looks forward to, and, and uh, I'll, I'll look forward to coming to Sebring every year. Uh, we have a good baseball history here, but everything we do is about the youth, uh, whether it's uh, high school baseball or football, but the, uh, and we're just proud to be able to help all the kids that we help. In Sebring, at the 36th Annual Florida Coaches Association All-Star Baseball Classic, I'm Dave Cook for the Prep Zone Florida Sports Report. All right, thanks, Dave. We're going to have a great schedule of Prep Zone Games of the Week this year on Fox.